Hello everyone, my name is Billy, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Azure DevOps to set up a CI-CD pipeline for your view app to automatically deploy to Azure App Service. So the first thing we're going to do is actually create our view app. I'm going to be using the view CLI3 to create our view app using the view create functionality. If you already have an app, you don't really need to do this step. So I'm just going to get started and actually create our app. So I'm already um, in the directory where my repo is, so I'm going to create my app view, create, and I'm going to give it um, view app just so we can kind of see what the uh, app looks like in uh, Azure DevOps. I'm going to choose default. So right now what it's going to do is just going to create the app, do the npm install, so I'll continue the video after it's done. Okay, perfect. So it's finished installing. Um, I'm just going to now just go into the actual directory. And I'm going to open this on uh, Visual Studio Code just so I have something to see. All right, so um, if I'm sure you're familiar with this, but if you're not sure, um, the package JSON has a build. This will build your production um, bundles. So what we're going to do is we're going to run npm run build. And we're going to take the steps that we're doing here and we're going to repeat them on the Azure DevOps pipeline. So going to build for production and what this will do is it will create a distribution file and that distribution file will be the one we zip and we put to Azure uh, App Service. Okay, all right, so this file right here, we're going to zip it in Azure DevOps and we're going to send it off. Let's, uh, now that we have everything, let's actually go to um, Azure DevOps and then actually piece it all together. So I'm going to first commit this, so git, it added view app. Okay. Okay, so we'll have everything here. Right. And then we'll just go now to our to here. Go to DevOps. So we'll go to the um, little rocket ship on Azure DevOps. And we're going to create our build. So new pipeline. We're going to use Visual Designer. And then we're going to, um, well, depending on your source control, choose that. I'm going to use the Azure repos Git. Use my master branch. And then here you're going to choose node. It doesn't really matter which one. We're going to uh, modify them. Uh, give this a name. Call this my view app. Uh, use the hosted Ubuntu. Uh, this will have the node on it. And we're going to remove the, gr the grunt task. And then we're going to change this to the directory. So the working directory of the package JSON. This will start off at the root. So we're going to use view app. Um, careful that you don't put a backslash. It actually won't work if you do. Uh, okay. And then we're going to clone this one. And then we're going to do our build. So run build. And then from command, we're going to switch command to custom. And then we're going to type run build. So automatically go npm and then run build. So we just have to type the run build part of it. Okay. And then the next part is the archive file. So this is the distribution file I was talking about earlier. Um, here. This is the one we want to zip up. So we're going to then point the file to that. So we're going to replace this. We're going to go view dash app slash distribution. Okay. And then that will get um, archived here and then they will get picked up and then it will get dropped off for the release. So that is all we have to do for this part of it. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to trigger. And we're going to add a automatic um, trigger every time master is um, has a commit on it. And then we're going to refine the path down and we're going to go view dash app. So any changes in this directory will automatically trigger a build. So this is how you kind of set up the CI CD so that it actually does do things continuously. Okay, we're going to save. And then we're going to now set up our release. So we have our build and then this will then lead into the release so we're going to go new and we're going to choose azure app service okay 
And then what you want to do is you either want to click here or you want to click your task. I'm going to click here. And then you're going to choose your Azure subscription. So if you haven't set this up yet, you have to go do that so that you can then come back here to authorize it. So um, you click drop down list. I already have mine authorized. So for example, if I have not I had you just click this, a pop up will happen. Make sure your uh, pop up blocker is off. And then you just sign in and then you'll have the uh, available list here. So right now it's like it's not available, but since I have authorized this one already, you can click refresh and it should be right here. Okay, so just keep in mind that you have to create your app first. And then in here, I'm just going to um, change one thing, which is additional deployment options. So you can leave everything here unless you have a deployment slots, which I might make another video on because this is definitely the better way to do the deployments. For now, I'm just going to keep it simple. So only thing I'm going to add is here. And I'm going to select a deployment method and choose web deploy. And I'm going to remove additional files at destination. So this will just kind of clear out everything that's um, that was there existing. Okay, and then that's it. So now we're going to go back to the pipelines. So you now set up your release. So you need to, an artifact to actually release. So this will be linking the build that we did earlier. Like this, this is the build name. Okay, and then we click add. And then this little lightning bolt, we're going to click here. So continuous deployment trigger. And we're going to click this just for now. And I'm going to click this. Add, and I'm going to choose my master branch. So any builds that are done on master branch will trigger uh, this release. And then you can also do it by pull request too. So um, the configuration is up to you, but this uh, should work for now. Okay, actually, sorry, I'm not going to save. I'm going to just show you one more thing here. So pre-deployment conditions. So you can um, set an approver because if you're going to push to production, you kind of don't want it to just automatically fly through unless you have a really good trust with the team and make sure that everything's uh, doing PRs and everything. But if not, then you can add yourself here. You can, for example, add an email or you can just add like um, a groups if you have. I guess I'm part of this team, so you can add your team and anyone in it can approve so that you have some kind of um, person to make sure that it's actually going through as according to plan. OK, so am I there? So I'm going to click save. All right. I'm going to go back here. And we're going to actually try to um, trigger a build now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the Visual Studio code. We're going to just make a small modification to this uh, just to make sure that changes are detected. So we're going to just change the message that's displayed. And I'm assuming you guys know how it already looks like if you go like npm run serve like that, that if you're looking for a tutorial for view app, I will also might make that in the future. But for now, we're just going to make modification. I'm going to commit that. Okay. And then that should now trigger the build to start going. Go back here. And if everything is set up correctly, now see a build. So perfect. So this is means that it's already queued and working. Uh, I don't know why this is not updating, but we can now go watch the uh, build happen. So initializing agent. Um, if you have a hosted service, it actually might build a little bit faster. Go to the checkout. NPM install, like I said, um, when we first get our view app, if you're pulling from repo, since uh, node modules are not uh, committed, you always do an NPM install and then you'll do an NPM run build locally. So this is um, locally and on the uh, Dev Azure DevOps is going to be doing exactly the same thing. So you can kind of have a, an expectation of what should happen. Okay, so it's going to do this. And I'm just going to um, continue the video once it's actually all just done here. All right, so the npm install completed and now it's doing the uh, npm run build. This was uh, what I did earlier to get my distribution file. And now it's going to zip and publish them out. OK, perfect. And now this should now trigger my release to go. So remember, release doesn't have a webhook like the build. Build will automatically uh, change its statuses. Release, you'll have to kind of keep refreshing the page. I think um, Microsoft will eventually do this update. But for now, you gotta refresh. So we're going to click into this and then kind of watch the process. So the UI here is kind of a little bit different. It's not really log format. 
as a little dial. So the one task was the deploy to Azure App Service. This into this, and we're going to see the progress of this now. Okay, it looks like it's connected and everything's good. And then now it's downloading the artifact from the drop, which was the build that we did earlier. And this was the zip file. And right now it should take too long since it's relatively a small app. It's just the default one anyways. All right. And then now it's deployed successfully. So we go back to our release so you can see that one has been successful. So if we go to uh, Azure App Service, this is the one I deployed it to, and this is the one I set up in the very, very first video. Okay, and then you want to just do this. Now our app should be up and running. There you go, just your learning. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick tutorial on setting up your CI CD for your view app. Next, I will be probably covering the React and Angular apps and also their server side rendering. So I'll be covering Nux and Next.js. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time.